So, 30 years ago, um, I don't even know whether you boys will remember it, but obviously London was getting bombed by the IRA. So, obviously, a lot of suspect packages used to be left in various places. And and actually, uh, the Met did lose a few officers. So, any suspect package was treated really, really seriously. But, of course, if you're a new lad from Plymouth, don't really know the history of London, don't really know the history of the IRA, obviously, you believe anything that you're told. So, one day, we had a suspect package um, in a particular part of Uxbridge, which was my first police station. So... My shoulder number was 276, a 276 X-ray uniform. Can you go to Cowley Street suspect package? Now, the way that we were trained was, obviously, if it's a suspect package, make sure nobody's nearby, uh, check the package, so on and so forth, and you always call your sergeant down to, obviously, um, have a look and, and obviously make a final decision. So, of course, I saw the suspect package. There was nobody around too much. So I called the skipper down. The sergeant came down. Oh, my God, John, um, I think it's radioactive. So he said, have you touched it? I went, yeah, yeah, I got near it. He said, nah. He said, sorry, son. He said, it's radioactive. He said, we're going to have to call an ambulance. So, of course, obviously, back then we worked really close. Your ass fell out, yeah. Yeah, basically. <laughs> so I thought, no children now, Johnny boy. <laughs> That's it. No children for you, son. Anyway, is that, that where your hair went, just to clarify? No, my hair went long before okay, that. Okay, fine. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, it's already bored just, at this point. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. Yeah, that didn't last long, did it? Eh? Um, so, obviously, back then, um, the NHS and the police worked massively together. We used to socialise together. A lot of cops married nurses. And, um, you know, there was a, a real great kind of understanding. I don't know why that's disappeared now, but, but back in my day... Um, we really worked closely together. So, of course, obviously, the nurses and the doctors were on board the wind-up. So, anyway, um, so the NHS, uh, sorry, the ambulance came down. Yeah, yeah, sorry, son. We're going to have to take you back to the hospital and, and scrub you down. So, of course, <laughs> like, I didn't think anything of it. So, obviously, got in the ambulance, right, and they're telling me about radioactive and, uh, radiation and, and, and obviously what radiation can do. And I'm like, oh, my God, you know, I'm only 21, <laughs> like, oh... So um, we get there, and then um, I'm shown into this room, the other side of A&E. This is Hillingdon Hospital, for those that know London at all, which is in Uxbridge. Um, so I get in there, and then the nurse go, sorry, we've got to scrub you down. We've got to scrub you down with chemicals. You need to take all your clothes off. So, of course, didn't even bat an eyelid. So obviously I stripped off, and then all these nurses bollock came it. out. Yeah, bollock naked. Bollock yeah, it, yeah, bollock naked. All these nurses came out, scrubbed me down. <laughs> to get a bit of blood in them. Yeah, Before, yeah. Oh, honestly, no. <laughs> no, I was a little bit on the worried side, Danny, at yeah, the time. Right. And then next thing, my whole relief just burst in on me, obviously laughing the socks off, and obviously you realise then, bastards have got Do you me. Know, that's a fucking long way to go, isn't it? For yeah. A joke. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, honestly. Yeah, but that's, no. that's what it was like. That was what it was like. And the irony of the situation is one of my mates, who funny enough was a field gun crew down here from Plymouth, he ended up marrying the nurse that scrubbed him down, obviously. Big, big lad, big yeah. lump, and he ended up. She was, she was a nurse. Left the nurse, joined the police. But but at that stage, obviously, like what she saw, ended up having a date, and they ended up marrying. But so did that make you feel uh, bullied and humiliated, mate? Not really. No, no, no I did. I did find it humiliation. No, I did. I, I, you know, back then, you know, it was just a wind up. It was just yeah. a joke. That's how yeah. I saw it. 